someone at one of the two addresses listed in those affidavits uh, was able to crack into these targeted accounts on the iCloud. Uh, but they've yet to, after months, to conduct an arrest. So it could be that there could, were a number of people who had access to the computers at these addresses, but those, could, those you know, computers could have been spoofed. They could have been, they may not actually have been their computers, but just those addresses were used, or using some sort of virus or bot within the system on those computers, they were actually being controlled by another computer which could be anywhere else in the world. So at this point, we really don't know how these computers at these addresses are involved in this scheme. The fact that there's been such a length of time, months between the service of those warrants and any kind of action, any sort of arrest by the FBI at this point would seem to hint that maybe the owners of that computer is not the real party uh, guilty in this situation or who perpetrated these things. Or possibly they can't pin it down to one particular individual of those who would have access to this computer.